Now in the first month, Layla only made one table. Now she realizes that's not going to be enough to make this company profitable. She's going to have to sell more tables in order to cover all her costs. Remember, her costs need to be exceeded by the sales, otherwise she'll not be profitable. Now, when she makes more tables, will all the costs increase or only some of them? And if it's only some of the costs, which ones will increase as she produces more tables? So that's what's meant by, uh, by cost behavior. So we can classify or order costs based on how they behave when we increase our production or when we increase the number of units. So let's look at a few terms here. The first one that's very important to understand is activity level. So what is meant by activity level? So sometimes they also re refer to that as volume. So activity level or volume is simply the number of units. So in our case, the number of tables. So some costs will increase as we increase the number of tables and others will not increase. And some might increase in weird ways that we don't expect. So that's what we'll look at um, when we classify costs by behavior. So before we do that, um, we'll have to be comfortable with what this graph rep represents. So we'll um, explain all of the cost behaviors um, by way of, of this graph. So the first um, axis we'll look at is the x-axis, so that's the horizontal axis, and that represents our activity level, or the number of units. So as we move to the right, that means an increase in the number of units. And then the y-axis, that is the vertical axis, that is our total cost, and then as we move upwards, we increase our costs. Mm -hmm.